It's November 22nd, 2021. I'm currently transitioning back to OMAD, one meal a day by New Year's 2022. And right now I'm taking the last half of November to simply eat within an eight hour eating window. In December, I'll start tapering it down. And then in January, my goal will be to eat within a one hour window. So since I'm still doing the eight hour window right now, I thought I would read a little bit from the eight hour diet, which is based on eating within an eight hour window. And I'm gonna go through a hundred ways to cut the calories. So basically a hundred things to do when you're fasting to try to keep your mind um, off of eating basically until your window opens. And some of these I can just read the title, but some of them I need to read like the first sentence underneath it. So here we go. Number one, watch a funny YouTube video. Number two, that upcoming project deadline you've been putting off, get her done. Number three, make a plan to knock out hunger. So it says Dutch researchers report that dieters who wrote a list of if then statements were more successful in attaining goals. For example, if I get hungry at noon, then I'll spend my lunch hour at the gym. Number four, when a craving strikes, make a fist. In a study published in the Journal of Consumer Research, people who tighten their muscles regardless of which ones, while trying to exert self-control in their food choices, were better able to overcome temptations. Number five, imagine yourself biting into a big juicy burger. Well, I guess since I'm vegan, that would be a, a, a vegan burger. A Carnegie Mellon University study found that simply visualizing yourself eating a certain food kickstarts a psychological effect called habituation and your motivation to actually eat the food decreases. Interesting. Number six, when the threat of munchies rears its ugly head, call your mom. Hearing a supportive familiar voice prompts the brain to release oxytocin, a stress fighting mood elevating hormone. According to study from University of Wisconsin Medicine, reducing stress is linked to increase in your satiety hormone leptin. Number seven, throw away your desktop, desktop snacks and avoid the cafeteria. So that's uh, self-explanatory. Number eight, just breathe. Deep breathing can stimulate the production of insulin, which lowers blood sugar levels. Number nine, cover your desk with a black tablecloth during the day or change your computer background to black. According to the book, Prescription for Nutritional Healing, the color black may naturally suppress your appetite. Number 10, read a thriller. Getting caught up in a good story will distract you from thoughts of food. Number 11, flip through old photo albums, preferably ones of you at your physical peak that bring to mind happier times. Number 12, work on your kill slash death ratio. Stanford researchers found that playing video games stimulates the brain's reward system, the part of the brain that might long for the excitement normally provided by food. Number 13, keep an eight hour diet journal. Number 14, find your mantra. If you're tempted to break your food schedule, remind yourself why you started this plan in the first place and repeat that thought over to yourself until the temptation subsides. Number 15, when you start to feel a good craving, uh, a food craving, hit the stopwatch on your cell phone. Record the time it takes for your crave to fade and use it to count down your next ping. 16, use your imagination. Sports psychologists tell us that when we, when people visualize themselves doing something, it's more likely to happen. Number 17, don't waste your willpower. You have a finite store of this cognitive currency, according to a case Western Reserve University study. So rid yourself of the problem situations that will use it up. Make decisions and stick with them. Delegate headaches. Quit procrastinating to preserve your will for when you really need it. Number 18, play words with friends, with lots of friends, especially smart ones. 
You're less likely to dwell on your hunger when your brain is busy figuring out how to use Q, A, and T. Tropical plant used as a stimulant. Number 19, clue in a friend. Social support and interpersonal pressure can help with self-control. So explain the eight hour diet to a friend and ask her to check in on you to see how you're doing. Number 20, make your bed. Your brain is a creature of habit. Having a routine can build willpower and discipline. Number 21, find inspiration in other eight hour dieters. Read success stories in this book or online for a little extra motivation and think to yourself, if she could do it, so can I. Number 22, don't be a refrigerator stalker. Stalker, put a note on the fridge door to eliminate the unconscious habit of repeatedly opening, opening it. Number 23, go green, with tea that is. Green tea suppresses appetite and could aid in fat burning. Opt for an organic caffeinated option to keep you going throughout the day. I like that one, I like green tea. Number 24, follow the lead of our ancestors. When you feel intimidated, remind yourself that our ancestors often went days without food. It's a challenge, but you can do it. Number 25, switch from your jeans and t-shirt to something snazzier. Wearing business casual attire makes workers feel more authoritative, productive, and competent than everyday casual, according to a study from the University of Southern Indiana. Number six, check your checklist. Write a list of all the specific reasons why your fast will help you. Reflecting on these things will help at times when your motivation is running low. Number 27, sip your way to satiety. You've heard it a million times for good reason. Water is the most natural, inexpensive, and effective appetite suppressant around. Drink it. Number 28, prepare a cup of peppermint tea. It can help fight cravings, improve digestion, and even alleviate headache. Number 29, add a little zest to make your water a little more satisfying. Squeeze sliced oranges, lemons, or limes into your glass for a boost of antioxidants that can temper your hunger. Number 30, keep yourself sipping with great tasting water. 31, set a goal and then nail it. 32, learn to love oolong. That's a type of tea. 33, take on the new cinnamon challenge. 34, wake up with yerba mate. That's another, well, why you can get it in tea form, but it's an herb, I think. This South American drink gives you the same vitality learners as coffee without the jitters. It acts as an appetite suppressant and to curb hunger. 35, add some sparkle to your drink. When hunger pangs strike, drink a glass of seltzer water with lime for taste. Those gassy bubbles fill you up more than non-sparkling water. That's something I do. I've been drinking sparkling water every day. I really like sparkling water. 36, take a urine test. If your urine is darker than light straw, you may not be drinking enough fluid. Check the color and then bottoms up. 37, walk to a water fountain, the one on the other side of your office. 38, plan your own ice capades. Simply chop up your additive of choice, cucumber or mint works well. Add it to your ice cube tray with water and freeze. Sprucing things up is a sure way to enjoy your eight glasses. 39, beat hunger and diabetes with black tea. 40. Sit down with Joe. Although green tea may have more health benefits, caffeine in general has been shown to slightly reduce appetite, especially if you're feeling fatigued later in the morning, hit the coffee pot. 41. Hit the road. Set a timer for 30 minutes and hit the road running. Just a half hour of hard running can reduce appetite by 50% for up to two hours. It says according to, I guess I don't really need to say according to, blah, 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 blah. like just, that's all you really need to know right there. 42, or hit the gym. This, the study also found that strength training reduces ghrelin production by up to 25%. 43, make your own vegetable stock. 44, find a quiet place to grab a few Z's. People who are sleep deprived have higher levels of the hormone ghrelin, which tells your brain you're hungry. Just 15 to 20 minutes is enough to re-energize you without affecting your ability to sleep at night. 45, do 15 minutes of chair-based yoga. It can curb work stress by reducing sympathetic nervous system activity. 46. Start a pickup game after work. Start a pickup game after work. 
Exercise doesn't have to be boring. Relieve your glory days by challenging coworkers to a game of hoops or soccer. 47. Spend more time with your pet. 48. Occupy your hands and your time by woodworking or washing your car. 49. Do a one-minute blitz. Pick an exercise, burpees, push-ups, squat, jumps, whatever, and see how many you can do in one minute. Number 50. Stretch it out. Stationary stretching will warm your muscles without burning extra energy. It will help you shed stress and feel calmer. All right, so we're halfway through the list. 51, go on a bike ride or cycle at the gym. 52, take a yoga class. 53, set a pop-up timer on your computer so you get out of your chair. 54, find a new hobby to keep busy. 55, train in intervals. 56, walk away. Your hunger hormones spike when you're feeling frazzles. So turn off your phone and leave the stressful environment even just for a few minutes. 57. Vow to walk to your co-workers instead of emailing them. 58. Stimulate your senses. Dark chocolate suppresses appetite, but stick to the aroma. 2010 study found that smelling rather than eating the bitter candy is more effective at reducing levels of ghrelin, a hormone that simulates hunger. 59. Chew a piece of sugar-free gum. Let's see. Study found chewing stimulates nerves in the jaw that are connected to the area of the brain responsible for satiety. 60, chew ice. Gnawing on ice when you get hungry will trick your brain into thinking you've eaten. 61, burn away stomach growling. Light up candles scented with peppermint, banana, green apple, and vanilla. Studies have found that these fragrances in particular can trick your brain into thinking you've eaten. 62, if you're hitting a wall, put on an upbeat radio station. Listening to music for about an hour a day can help reduce fatigue. 63. Let the sun shine in. Stress causes your body to pump out cortisol, which creates a resistance to leptin, the satiety hormone. Just 10 minutes in the sun can make a tremendous difference in your stress level and give you a surge of energy. 64. Use meditation techniques to relax and divert your attention. 65. Brush your teeth, floss, and top it off with mouthwash. You're accustomed to thinking food tastes bad after brush brushing, so the fresh mini taste will get your mind off eating. 66. Clean the toilet. Okay, maybe it sounds a little, or it sounds unpleasant, but hey, we bet your desire to eat will be flushed. 67. Turn down the AC. A study found that exposure to temperatures above the thermoneutral comfort zone decreases appetite and food intake. 68. Cuddle up with your significant other. Your brain releases the love hormone oxytocin whenever you touch someone or feel loved. High levels can beat back stress and lower blood pressure. 69. Schedule a massage. In one study, a 15-minute chair massage decreased hospital workers' cortisol levels by 24%. Cortisol can mix up your hunger signals and suppress your brain's normal reward system. 70. Find release in your second strongest bodily hunger. I'm going to skip that. 71. While your body rebuilds inside, give your outside some TLC. Go to the spa, have a facial, or reward yourself with an expensive moisturizer. 72. Say thanks. Write a letter to someone who influenced your life in a positive way. 73. Build a fence or learn to play a new song. 74. Host couples game night. 75. Clean out your inbox. How great is it when you can di distract yourself from eating and accomplish something? Sift through emails and unsubscribe to those newsletters you never read, which makes up an estimated 30% of an average inbox according to a study. 76. Play your pup's favorite game, Frisbee. 77. Partner up and do the dishes. 78. Make amends. If you had a recent falling out with someone, write him or her a letter to patch things up. Participants. A study participants found on forgiveness towards others experience an increase in mindfulness, reduce, reduced anxiety, and less likelihood of eating in response to food cues. 79. Make a list of what killed your relatives. It may sound a little morbid, but it'll give you a heads up on ailments you may be at risk of, as well as it motivates you to keep up your healthy choices. 80. Spend 15 minutes talking to a coworker. 
81. Try light therapy. Low levels of serotonin are often associated with cravings, specifically for carbs. Boost your happy hormone by keeping a bright light at your desk or seeking sunlight as the day and your willpower wears on. 82. Kill cravings with kindness. Help a neighbor carry in groceries or give a coworker a compliment. 83. Visualize yourself running on the beach or whatever it is you can't wait to do when you're at your goal weight. 84. Go for a spin. Literally, stand up and twirl five times or up to 20 times and take a one minute break and do it again. Keep your eyes fixed at a spot on the wall while spinning to avoid dizziness. When your brain is busy reestablishing equilibrium, it might forget your food crush on chocolate chip, chip cookies. 85. Add some potpourri to your office. Study found jasmine scent has specific hunger killing powers and can also reduce anxiety and boost energy. 86. Close your eyes, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and vividly imagine yourself doing your favorite thing. 87. Watch traffic on the highway or tennis on TV or your kids playing ping pong. The back and forth eye movements may help you forget food thoughts. 88. Try forehead tracking, a technique proven to reduce food thoughts and cravings. Tap an imaginary line with your finger from temple to temple, one tap per second, one centimeter at a time. Follow your finger with your eyes focusing on the first joint in your pointer. 89. Learn the ancient art of Tai Chi, a form of Chinese martial arts that combines slow movements with meditation and breathing to calm your body and mind. 90. Take a beating. Studies show that people with high heart rate variability, moment by moment fluctuations in heart rhythm, have more self-control and deep breathing can boost it. Number 97. Lend a helping hand. Take an hour out of your day to volunteer in your town. 92, tap into your spirituality. Religious fasting such as the Islamic month of Ramadan place a huge emphasis on prayer during the process. All right, 93, go green and stay focused. Place an English ivy plant on your desk and you'll concentrate on your work rather than sidetracked by food thoughts. 94, lock fingers with your one and only. Holding hands reduces stress related activity in the brain's hypothalamus, the seat of your feelings for hunger and thirst. 95 through 97, be your own acupuncturist, no needles. Okay, it talks about jaw, earlobe, crease of the knee. Um, gently rub each of these three appetite control acupuncture points for several minutes when you're having hunger pangs. 98. Sip warm lemon water. 99. Schedule more exhilarating exercise like a martial arts class, rock climbing, or mountain biking. Physical activity combined with a little risk taking will make you look for make you look forward to your workout. All right, number 100. The all-purpose. Anyone can follow it. Uber tip. Do anything for 15 minutes at the first sign of hunger pains to give them time to wane. Research shows that dips in blood sugar associated with hunger return to normal after 10 to 15 minutes. And that may be all that stands between you and success on the 8-hour diet. Alright, so that's the 100 tips from the 8-hour diet.